All right, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? It is Simplistic, welcome back to another video. In today's society, we are able to function off of basic rules that enables people to be structured and civil amongst one another. We as humans can choose to abide by these various rules and regulations set in our different countries and regions. Whether you wish to be a person that pushes their own specific agenda for good or evil, everyone has a purpose. Every time I view what's on the news, it could be a fireman helping an old lady with getting her kitten from out of the tree, or at worst, vicious battles of war and violence. Violence. The world is a crazy place, but imagine a place where anything goes. No enforcement, no restrictions, complete freedom mixed with utter chaos. A town with absolutely no laws. This is widely known as the most dangerous city in America. It's like no other. We will be visiting to find out what really goes down there and hope to make it out alive. I'm not too sure if it's that serious, but I'm gonna go in with that mindset. I am genuinely curious to see if the stories we read up on are truthful. We're about 30 minutes out and we decided to stop to get some supplies here at the only store in existence, Walmart. If we're gonna dive deep in this adventure, we have to be prepared. It's over 100 degrees out and there's absolutely no Wi-Fi to be found. Some sort of survival kit, maybe something that we can put together to make sure that we're gonna be okay. And definitely, belt the vibes that i'm currently getting is kind of where like trevor used to live in gta just a bunch of desert not really much going on and a bunch of crazy people i always see a bunch of different creators getting kicked out of walmart hopefully that's not me today i'm not here to cause trouble i just need some items bro they always be having some random cereal here bro like <laughs> swiss rolls this looks kind of crazy i haven't had breakfast today so i mean why not right we do need a bowl now though it's always good to buy in bulk Essentia is the best, bro. You can never go wrong. Knowing how I'm built, this is gonna last me all day. I'm terrible when it comes to hydration. I need to get way better. Milk, milk, milk. It's good, bro. Nice to meet you. Oh, you can't? Oh, you're sick? Oh, no worries. You wanna take a picture from far away? Hey, I hope you get better. Hey, do you have any tips on surviving? Because that's what we're doing today. We need some help. Water and food, that's all you need. Okay, I like it. All right, sounds good. Thank you, man. <laughs> yeah, of course. Him seeing me here is like one in a million. I do not doubt that I will never step foot in this place again, honestly. I never come in here with a car, ever. It's always like this. I don't, I don't really think much. Are you guys sheriffs? A uh, little bit. I was just like going to like a city nearby and like there's no laws there. So I was gonna ask if like you guys can provide some protection. Very funny. No, like, uh, no. like personal security maybe? No, sorry. No, none of that around no. here? Oh, okay. You'll have to, maybe desert security? They yes. They will be able to help you? Because I don't want to be like out there with like no protection, you know what I mean? Got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, I want to go in style. I mean, I didn't know they had this type of drip here. Let me flatten it out a bit. How do people usually wear their hats around here? Like flat or like kind of like this? Anyway, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, I'll, I'll wear it like this then. Chilling. If I show up like this, I don't see how they're not going to treat me with kindness and respect. I'm a humble guy. I come in peace. Yeah, this is just not right man i'm like a size 29 bro my waist is the size of like a i don't even know what to compare it to i think this would do it matches too it's all black this is kind of a vibe i'm you fan yeah yeah nice You're to from, meet you yes sir from the space rug, right? yeah 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 how you guys doing I'm, man i'm your favorite You're, I, i'm your favorite yeah oh bro i appreciate you man you like the belt yeah you think i can pick something out a little bit better or like this is the best like I can go reversible if I want to like switch it up, but if I want to go classic, like full grain, like leather. I think that one is better. This is better? Yeah. Okay, I'll take your recommendation. You look like a fly kid, you know what I'm saying? The hair is off to the side and stuff. How's it going? Hi. Is that better milk? Cause I got like oat milk. No, it's... Okay. It's decent? I'm good. Yeah? Yeah. I can have it? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, here you can have you can. <laughs> Thank you. Is it in time lapse mode? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, I like it time lapse. Oh, no worries. Thank you. Oh, also, I was gonna ask you guys, like I'm still new around here. I was like looking for some tips. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how, how do I live out here? You know, how do I fit in? You just live. You just live. I like it. Thank you for the advice. I appreciate that. I don't have to be simplistic out here. I could be El Simplistico, a new nickname, a new identity. But this shirt can stay for sure. Look at the wide assortment of items we got going on here. The amount of supporters I've ran into here is kind of incredible. Coming from where they really don't care about your well-being, they actually do care. Oh, there we go. This is what I'm talking about. Outdoor services and camping. We're in the right spot. I don't know about you guys, but I don't know if I can survive without one of these. A very common necessity is always a flashlight, so I don't see why we wouldn't get one of those. And on top of that, they have some pretty big blades here. Listen, I'm not saying anything crazy will happen, but <laughs> you just never know. Um, I was looking at, uh, where is it? This bad boy right here. It says tactical grade. I think something like that would help today. What, the thousand lumens too, it's wild. You know where the knives are too? Yeah, on this one okay i was looking for like a doppler gamma fade it was like a karambit that i was looking at 
I saw it online, but it was too expensive. So I was thinking if I can get it in person. Even if you have a falcon knife for like butterfly. Okay, this will work. It, like a switchblade kind of thing, huh? That's fine. Thank you. That's cool. This is the one I was kind of looking for. I don't know if you guys have that one. I don't think so. No? Yeah, no. I haven't seen anything like that. I feel like it would be out of stock pretty often. When you go online, yeah. make sure that you click like uh, in-store. Oh, in-store. Because some people sell it at different like rates and stuff. Yeah, so the market's always going up and down. Well, because there can be other like things that they sell on Walmart.com. It's third party. Oh, this one's on Steam. It's kind of like a third oh, party. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You ever heard of a place called Slab City? I've never been there, but I, I only heard stories and stuff. Yeah, that's where we're going right now, bro. Is there any crazy stories you heard? No, I was just I used to work for um, asset protection over there. Oh, okay. And the people all the time. Oh, there's a lot of people that steal there, yeah. like robbers and stuff. The bags have been secured. Now it's time to finally mentally prep for what we're about to go into right now. We're going to war. When you interact with NPCs, it's like you'll get a different response every time. Usually I just press the X button and kind of skip through it. You just never know what kind of reaction you will get. And that's why life is so fun. Before we fully dip, I do have to unload a massive number two, a stinky slimy one. So let's run that up. I'm amped up, come on, I'm hyped. Slab City, baby. Let's go Slab City, baby. Let's set up shop real quick because we do need to fill our stomach with something. I haven't consumed a single thing. $5? Cereal? You guys are good? Oh, okay. Could really start my small business out of here. It's kind of like a big slap in the face. Like, I don't care where it's at. It's on a trash can, but at the same time, you're going to get something good. Step one. Over here, the dairy goes in first. Looks staler than my channel right now, bro. Haven't been uploading. <laughs> That's terrible. Mm-hmm. Wow, it's pretty mid, but it'll do. As we continued our quest, we started to drive through the nearing cities to realize that the closer we got, the more we saw how ran down and abandoned the buildings and houses looked. In fact, the popular video game Grand Theft Auto got a lot of inspiration for the map from these towns. How y'all doing? All right. Good, good. You guys need some help? No, I got it. You good? Yeah, I just gotta swap the tires around. Bad day, huh? Yeah, it's been a bad couple of years. Oh, man. <laughs> nice camera. You Thank you. Good? Yeah, we're doing good, man. We're just exploring today. I wanted to give you guys 100 bucks. Oh, damn. Just because, you know, I want to spread some love, man. Spread some positivity today, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I saw you guys are struggling over here with the tire. I'm like, I can't let you guys, you know, go without having a smile on your face. That's wonderful. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, of course. Nice. Didn't forget about you, too, bro. Oh, wow. Thanks. Of course, man. Yeah, money makes people smile. Hey, I, hey, I hate it, too, bro. It has yeah, to be money, but... Hey, you know, this <laughs> it's never happened to me, so this is a new one on me. It's yeah. helpful, though. What are you going to do with the tire. I gotta no. put two of these on the back and then put these the two back. up. It's the just front. this one? No, I got no. another one in there. Oh, okay, okay, oh, good. Yeah. You guys are going through it, huh? Yeah. Oh, I've man. Been it for okay. over 50 years. So oh. It's just finally where I'm Are you guys locals to here? No, I just got here five years ago. I broke down here. What made you stay? I wasn't in a rage for the first time in 20 years because some stuff did happen. Back in the day? Yeah, it's like uh, back in the day, this place was actually decent, I guess. I got here about a year about 15 months ago okay and uh it's been pretty nice but there's a lot of uh, bad elements here as well drug addicts and they steal or break into your place and things like that but uh, no i'm talking about the implant oh, there's an implant that's a total that that's yeah, totally yeah. the thing oh yeah there's a lot of targeting people that are targeted here by the government for a, a whatever reason he's one of the major ones he's got an implant so wow I actually have x-rays and mri scans really nobody wants to answer darpa covered it up that's unfortunate you know what i see like because obviously the first time out here so me, and you, me not being a rape in a rape for 20 years is partially because of the implant because China is the reason why, why smartphones would be in the national security threat because I was raised in a big stink. So you had an implant in, in your neck? Yeah, near the vagus nerve bundles. And, and you said the Chinese government like tapped into that? Yeah, through their smartphones. I don't know if you on YouTube, there like, was a yeah. story well, about some men bit. that had uh, was it skull? It's voice to skull technology implanted behind their ear. Really? Six different men in the same city. That's yeah, insane. They all, like ended up uh, finding each other and all finding this little chip in the back of their head. They were here That's crazy. Yeah, so, so you're one of the definitely. people that got implanted with that chip. Is it the Apple M1? Because I heard that one was pretty intense. Wow. I didn't yeah. hear that yet. Yeah. Well, how's your experience been here? It's been, to say the least, uh, interesting. I came from Washington State to get away from the targeting. Since yeah. you got here, like what? What's like? What can I expect? Well, in the summertime, heat up to 115 degrees. Yeah, it's hot right now. It's yeah. steaming. This is nothing. This is nothing. This is nothing. This is nothing compared to what it can be. I mean, I was here. I got here in July of last year, and it was up to 118 degrees. And it was strange because it was like 108. It seemed hotter than it when it was, when it was 118. But I mean, it gets. I mean, they, they have the most interesting bugs here too. Oh. Things I've never seen before. They call them bombers. They're like they say they're horseflies, but I've never seen a horseflies big before. It's this big. Yeah, it's just 
it just buzz by. They like to put their thing inside you like a mosquito uh -huh. and like take a chunk of skin out or blood. They take your Yeah, lie. I think it's like DNA testing or whatever, you know, just to- Oh, from the government? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. And then they They're have fake bugs, that's what I was thinking. Like yeah. there's no way those bugs are that big and well, are just stinging you that fast. Have you cricket and see it jump backwards and sideways? Yeah. Yeah, I've never seen that up there, but here, it, yeah, everything goes. Anything else I should watch out for? Oh, nothing scary, just very, very uh, uh, interesting. Hide your wallet? Yeah, yeah, keep it in your front pocket. <laughs> oh, definitely. Keep it Sleep on your belongings. You. Sleep with it? Unlocked. Because people will walk right through, grab, grab it, and just keep walking. Wow. There's They're a lot of those kind of things, yeah. Are quick. What's that? Some people are quick and very, very talented with uh, SIM cards. And oh, if they try and touch my camera, though, it's over. I'm running after them. <laughs> I shoot my shot for That's a living. beautiful. I yeah. would do it, too. Sony's a really good brand. Yeah, right? What's your name? Debra. Debra. Nice to meet you guys. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Yeah. Love your tattoos. Thank you so much. What's your tattoos about? Well, this is a, when I got with an ex-boyfriend of mine that's passed away now. Went to a comic book shop, and that's what I found. I said I liked her because that's for me when I get pissed. And this I just built myself, and just the other two are just old tattoos from old days of friends. Okay. Watch the sky at night. You'll enjoy it. Yeah. The sky at night? Yeah, and over by the mountains. Sometimes they have, uh, they do games and stuff, and they have the flares, and uh, they might even drop a bomb or two. Wait, they're gonna drop a bomb? They've dropped bombs on the mountains and stuff, and I mean, it's shaking my trailer so much. I mean, it sounded yeah, like it was like right outside the window. There. It was, it's pretty intense sometimes. Mostly it's just out there, you feel it, you know, you hear the boom and feel very, very you know, light vibration. So wait, you've seen a bomb get dropped here? Yeah, they, they have they have their planes and they drop them over there, you know, it's just for, you know, just for practice and stuff. Wow, that's wild. And then we have a pink van, let's go. Pink gorilla, my guy. Is that what he's known out here? Oh, he's known like that out here. From the topics of China and planting chips to track and follow their every move, bombs going off in the mountains, to little green guys in the sky ready to beam up their next victim, I heard it all. Very nice people though. When I was younger, I was sitting at a red light with my mom, everything was fine, and then boom! Another driver hit us from the back. Instantly, my mother was in shock. Quickly, she checked for me to see if I was okay, and instantly, she felt a sharp pain in her neck. Me being 10 years old, I didn't know what to do. If you asked me, I wouldn't even know how to spell lawyer. And for the woman who gave birth to me, she had so much on her plate already. School, work, taking care of her kid. The last thought in her mind was to hire someone to help her out. Ugh, bro, if only we knew about Morgan and Morgan. They're huge. In fact, they are America's largest injury law firm. That means they have the resources to fight for you and get you the best results. And on top of that, they got that bread. They can spend millions on your case, plus the fee is free. Unless you win. No upfront costs, no sign-up fees. And if you don't win your case, you don't gotta spend a single dime. You really have to keep in your mind, what is your health worth? Imagine not being able to walk again. When you are injured, you have to realize the effects that it has on your future. That's why the goal is to get you full and fair compensation. The biggest thing for me is trust. Over 3 million people a year call in their time of need. If you are ever injured or in an accident, you can submit your claim over at www.forthepeople.com slash simplistic or by dialing pound law. That's pound 529 on your phone. If you're able to secure the bag, don't get played. Check out Morgan & Morgan in the description down below. It is official. We just crossed lines to the fabulous Slab City, and we're just getting started. So my guy over there was referring to how reality is actually this way when you're going back into civilization, but when you go that way, that's where reality apparently stops. But I do want to head inside whatever this is. I will be careful. I don't want to catch any diseases, but whatever this is, this looks like an empty bunker that a soldier would stay in. There's also some books that were left behind. So far, we're off to an interesting start. As we are inching our way over to the main area, I'm starting to notice a lot of cracks in the ground. We definitely have to be careful here. I don't know what this was caused by, maybe an earthquake, maybe little green guys in the sky from a spaceship, who knows? But after gathering some info from that lovely lady and that fine gentleman, it does seem like I can get away with a lot here, as I was expecting. So officially, right now, I declare myself the mayor of this entire city. I am officially the man in charge and everyone has to follow my orders. No ifs, ands, or buts. I am aiming to be the biggest criminal here. So that is why I'm gonna do this. I just jaywalked and I'll do it again. Who's gonna stop me? Who gonna stop me? And you know what? Let's go for a kill streak. Boom, if I get pulled over, false identification. I'm not McLovin, but I am today. And guess what? While I'm out here, I don't care about the environment. See this receipt I got from the store? Yeah, I just littered. This rocky terrain is gonna make me sprain an ankle, bro. Apparently that's the biggest YouTuber here. His name is Mr. Pink Man or something like that. 
Hold on. The myths are becoming more true by the second. Look at that imagery right there. You just never know. You might be in risk of getting beamed up yourself. As we keep walking though, I'm starting to see a lot more art, which I do appreciate. And I guess we have uh, Mr. Worldwide himself, Pitbull. I guess this is what they think he looks like. Pretty accurate. But realistically, that's something I definitely value. I love when people can creatively express themselves. The world famous Slab City Art Gift Shop. I didn't know they had it like that. With the amount I've already heard about extraterrestrial beings, Hopefully, we can spot one and even catch one. My guess is they're gonna sell stuff having to do with the history. They got some t-shirts and probably a lot of old antiques. Check me if I'm tripping, but this looks like my first Minecraft base I ever built. Hello. How's it going? Good, thanks. Uh, I'm just at a little store. Thank you. You have I so many nice rings. pieces in here. Thanks. I make the rings, real stones, coral and pearls, and I use copper wire with these ones, sterling silver on those. These are 10, those are 15, your rings are 20. These are all handmade? Yep, mm-hmm. What's your name, sir? Jimmy James. Jimmy James, my guy. <laughs> yes. Call me Simpy Simp. I was gonna ask, how long did it take to build this place? I've been here six years. Six years, that's impressive, bro. Thanks, man. My first base kind of looked like this, too. All right, right on. Yeah, bro, it took so much wood. Yeah, I try not to use too much wood, though, it's burnable. A lot of people use way too many burnable stuff, so they found that out. So camp behind me here burnt down three nights ago. My first instinct when I was doing it was like to make it out of obsidian. So I did that. Mm. Got obsidian, put it all together. Herobrine tried going in and it, it kind of went from there. But mm. but yeah, I think I'm going to have to pick something up. Do you guys take Apple Pay? Um, No, I do Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Zelle, Credit Debit. I might have some cash on me. Okay. I'm just going to take a look around though. Okay. What's this right here? Genuine Slab City Dirt, biggest seller. Friend Butch puts those together. He hand stamps the dog tags. That's so cool. I need some yeah, dirt for it. He puts them together real well too. They won't fall apart. He glued the top in and there's a little bead holding the chain from falling out. Oh, that's awesome. I need some dirt for the crib. Nice. What I'm interested in is seeing if he has an infinite water source. You know, when you fill up four different blocks with water, you'll be good forever. Questions are free. Interviews are $100. We better get out of here. I do admire his setup a lot. This probably took a lot of work, and honestly, some of the pieces here are pretty cool. Jimmy James was a swell fellow. After selling me Earth Remains and taxing it for quadruple the price, I remained hopeful. Appreciate you, bro. Yes, sir, man. You Thank you so much. Where did bro get a school bus? That's what I want to know. He definitely went into creative mode. This is top of the notch, world-class dirt, and it's in my possession now. It's the best seller. We came across some more signs. The top one says Slab City Hostel. One under it, we got roaming dogs, so you should probably go 25 miles per hour, slow down. Slab City Library and Trading Post in 1.2 miles. And we have East Jesus Sculpture Garden up ahead. I guess this might be a life lesson to kind of put this down every once in a while. We got a tree full of different colored buckets and a sign that says spread love. That's all it's about. We finally made it to the main attraction, Salvation Mountain. As I can see up ahead, this is gonna be one of the most beautiful things I'll ever lay my eyes on. I do wanna point out from a place that very few people follow the code, there are signs like these that says, please keep off. And there just has to be some level of respect that goes between the citizens because this looks pretty well kept. I think it's pretty cool how people at least care enough not to mess with what's around. This genuinely feels like I'm on set of a movie. It is dead quiet right now. And all I'm left with is my thoughts. I'm putting it into perspective on how long this took to put together the amount of blood sweat and tears that went into this hours upon hours days upon days and the best part to me is the overall meaning everything is about love it's very biblical a lot of different bible verses written this is dope it's been said that you used to be able to climb this but as of now it's closed for repairs oh man it looks like this leads to way more but this is also no entry bro dude they have a trophy in here this is from the tomato and sportsman festival in 1998 ancient at the moment, my ping is at least over 500. I'm lagging a little bit, but being in here makes it a whole lot better from how cold it is. If anyone could let me know what this is, Acts 2.38, what verse that is, leave it in the comments down below. John 3.16, universal love. Hold on. Oh, he or she must be so tired. Coming here is leaving me with some stuff I'm gonna take home. I just discovered something really off with the ground. There's like pockets of water underneath. You can literally hear the liquid going back and forth. I'm just gonna ask if there's any other stuff that we're missing. You need to go down to East Jesus. East Jesus. Yeah, if you go to the end of the road, you'll see a sign. Uh -huh. Turn left and follow the signs. Okay. You'll like it. I like it, okay. And then you need to go next door to that, to the Flamingo Camp, and meet Dot at the House of Dots. House of Dots? Yes, and she will talk to you. She will, you will love her. Okay. Thank you for the suggestion. You're welcome. Appreciate you want it. some stickers? I would love a sticker. I'm dying out here. I have a raging headache, but that's not going to stop me 
from throwing this on the camera bag. It's gonna look sick. Wow, sleek, clean, oh, uh, sleek, clean. That's what I call some customization. At the moment, I'm trying to find some more action to get into. It's very possible that I have heat exhaustion right now, only because I have no thoughts going through my brain. It feels like a cloud. And I just stumbled upon their local mechanic, or what they would like to call a mancanic. How's your day going? Good, good. What uh, services do you offer? Uh, we trade stuff. Okay. Whatever you got to trade. I have a hat. Honestly, anything you're willing to trade for it, to be honest. Oh, yeah. So it's a local store nearby. Um, brand new. Can you just surprise me with something? Anything. Whoa, let me see your tattoos. You wear jewelry at all? Not really. I could, yeah. Yeah. We got dice, rocks, seashells. I'll go grab the jewelry though. Tiger's eye? Yo. Hold it up to the light. I don't know if you're a rock guy or not. But I could become a rock guy. Hold it in the sunlight. Look at that stone. I think we shake hands and call it a deal. You good with that? Yeah. You like that one? I love it. This is beautiful. All right. Thank you so much, man. Good I deal. appreciate it. Yes, sir. Trade. Yes, sir, man. Have a good rest of your day. Yeah, you too. Take it easy. If any of my 90s kids are watching out there and you remember Dragon Tales, I really just found the magic stone. We're now walking into Flamingo Camp territory. I really highly doubt there's a live flamingo somewhere wandering in here, but that's for us to find out. Yo, that looks like Rip and Dip. Be crime, do gay. Whatever that's supposed to mean. It's crazy, bro. Like seeing this in real life, and experiencing it has been one of the most wildest things I've ever done on this channel. We're about to go meet up with the woman of the hour. Her name is Dot. We were recommended from the girl over at Salvation Mountain. Hello. How are you guys? I'm good, how are you? Good. We were told to come here. Oh, you were? We were. By who? The lady over at Salvation Mountain. Oh, right on. Yeah, I just came here to talk to more locals and just kind of like get to know the area. Oh, right on. Are you doing some sort of film thing? Yeah, we're doing like a little school project. Okay. Yeah, it's for Netflix. What is it? Just a documentary? So or? basically, we're doing a documentary on Shamu from SeaWorld. Oh. Yeah, and we just decided to come here. What does this have to do with? It's kind of interconnected, like just showing art pieces around the world and just showing how lovely we can make things look. Oh, okay. Yeah. So how long have you been here? About four and a half years. Wow. How do you like it? I like it a lot. Yeah. I get to make weird sh that people enjoy. Like to come look at. <laughs> yeah. Is there some weird sh you can show us? I have lots of weird. Okay. <laughs> um, how about you come on in? Okay. Uh, I like to start people in this trailer here, which All is right. called the Skeletorarium. All right. So with the name like that. Wow. It's Whoa. A mermaid. So. Wow. She's supposed to look like a taxidermied mermaid. We're not quite done yet, but see. That's beautiful. How long have you been working on it? Oh, I don't know, a couple weeks. Things take time. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I stay around a lot, like trying to figure out like what I'm gonna do next and yeah. all that kind of stuff. But yes, she will go in here when okay. she's finished. So go on up in there and cool. check out some of my other weird, pretty stuff. Get Yo, this is crazy. Right in time for Halloween. Skeletorarium. Whoa. So what kind of skeletons do we have here? All sorts of different things. Most of them are little kit foxes, like kit fox. Kip Fox. That might be one of the smaller or the larger rodent type things we have out here. This is supposed to be a fetal cow. That's probably the remnants of a coyote skull. That's wow. a fish head down there. You have a fish head? Oh, you can definitely tell. Yep, yep. The eye and right that there. That is also a giant catfish over there. So the catfish probably accidentally ended up in the salt and sea coming down one of the various canals that dump out in there. That is but insane. That's awesome. Thank you. Okay, this is a real disaster, and I was supposed to get over here and clean this up today, but I keep getting distracted by the mermaid. What I would like to call this, in my eyes, is like my beautiful, dark, twisted fantasy. Yeah, it's a lot of junk. I used to drive past junkyards and be like, I'd love to live in there. Yeah. So I, oh, this is oh, uh, the neighbor's yeah. cat that has decided to come move over here. Hello. He's kind of a though. He, he likes to spray things. So uh, to well, we're going to go through here. So we're going to look at some of the other collections of weird some stuff. Some kombucha? Yes, I Healthy. drink a lot of kombucha. And I don't know if you know this about kombucha bottles. Look at the bottom. Look at that. Oh, right on. But look like every kombucha bottle has a symbol on the bottom of it. And yeah. it's meant for you to flip it upside down and look at the bottom before you open it. Yeah. To kind of get all the good fermenty bits. Up you know, my it. thing for anchors is like is it? being like humble and like being nice. down to earth. Because it like holds you down, you know? Yeah. So that's why I put that there. Those are, I think that's the Mariner's Cross is what they call that. Watch your head if you're taller than me. That's what the ducks are about. Right, see? Did you literally just hit your head after yeah. you that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> so this is a really cool chair. Wind likes to play with stuff. Oh my gosh, it's so dirty. Somebody was in here one day. They're like, oh my gosh, I've got the exact same chair. <laughs> What's the odds of having something like that? Well, I got that from somebody in town. So oh, okay. It's from, you know, a 
probably any of your standard, you know, like looks like a library. Stores. Yeah, but it's kind of like a sit a, down. Yeah, furniture store. You have some kind. That's so probably cool. Made thousands of them. Mannequins. Nice mannequin vintage, section. Vintage ones. These are all pretty much vintage. These are the legs to the one in the other area. Oh, and then this is the ballroom. You get to. You know, figure that one out on your own. The ballroom is what she likes it's to call it. It's just these mannequins that have gigantic uh, legs. So this is the Alice in Wonderland dining room. It definitely needs cleaning. So um, you know, Alice went on pulling in the bottle. Oh, they're having like a little tea party. A little minion over there. And I got this guy over here, big giant worm on a giant ass flower. Yo, this is the coolest thing I think I've seen. Mm. That's my favorite. Right. Where did you get the flower? So there's a um, rave that comes like every year. Coachella? Uh, no, this is a much smaller rave, but okay. they like to do it big. And so one of the years somebody brought these flowers out here and then um, someone who's not here anymore, a guy named Two Horse Jack, he had these flowers and I was the lucky winner of one of them wow. when he left. Taxidermy dinner party. Now it's Let's super, go. super dirty. Go on up in there. You go. <laughs> it's really dirty. I'm getting ready to redo this Ooh, whole thing. This um, so, uh, yeah, it's uh, deer eating people. So it's a deer family that eat humans. Yep. That's sick. Yep, yep, yep. So there's a cute little story that goes with it. So we got um, Young Buck, Uncle Buck, and Grandma Buck. And Young Buck is here bragging at the dinner table about how this dumb is like filling up his gas tank and I'm just like hiding behind the tree. He didn't even see it coming. Shot him right in the face. Yo. And Uncle Buck's over here going, no man, you know, we can ethically resource humans from like, you know, drug bang ganging, all that kind of stuff. You don't have to be so violent. And grandma's just like, put the food on the table. This is actually uh, my grandmother's, so. That's your grandmother's, yeah, wow. Yeah, I got added in the artwork. Wait, that's amazing how you incorporated that. That's insane. Yeah. I like to keep some of this, it's actually broken. The wind must have gotten a hold of it. It's amazing, you would think the wind wouldn't come in here, but the wind gets everywhere. If you go that way, you okay. got the, ta the um, Barbie Horror House. Whoa, yeah. the Barbie movie just came out too. I know, yeah, I did a little something different with my Barbies. They kind of went another direction. Yeah. Um, they ended up in a horror flick. It's supposed to be like all the same girls going through a storyline. They show up all together in the over here. Going on a road trip. Right? Yep. That's the pile of Barbies. After I made the storyline, then I found the rest of my Barbies. I'm like, oh, we can make more storylines. Yep. Okay, this is the plague of Christianity. See the little crosses? Yeah. Okay, I'm not like, it's it's more about the Crusades than anything else. I'm not trying to diss anything. Yeah, of course not. Here. But we do have Jesus spanking a pinup and... Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. I like this one. <laughs> Rick and Morty. Looking at the, through the TV. Yeah. Um, is that actually where you sleep? Yeah, it's a pop-up camper that I just drew a big old king-size mattress on and, and then the mosquito netting. Sometimes when I'm laying in there, I feel like a giant spider. <laughs> I get, I totally get the spider webs now because the mosquitoes get trapped in the outside side and they can't, they never figure out how to get all the way in there. But um, sometimes I'll wake up in the morning and watch them basically getting cooked. Oh, all the out. bugs? Just a handful of mosquitoes. We don't have a lot, but yeah. we have a handful. It seems like it does the job pretty well. It really does. <laughs> I'm like, I love it. Do you ever just find stuff that you forgot about? Oh my gosh, yes. Like I would never think that I would forget about any of this stuff, but I do. But what's also interesting is somebody shows up and they're looking for something. If I know I have it, I can almost always find it really fast. Really? Yeah. So you're like memory about where, where things stuff are. Where is pretty good. Pretty good, wow. Yeah. I love that record wall too. Thank you, it's really gotten it's like all the half of them are missing. But it kind of adds to the aesthetic. Sure. It looks better when it was all there. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not putting them back up again. I gotta move all the crap in the way to get over to it. Yeah. But that's actually a gift shop if you wanna see that. I would love to. And this is my pool room. Normally it's way nicer. There is definitely some documentation on the internet of this thing looking bomb diggity, all <laughs> covered and like Arabian style. But um, yeah, the wind, the, we had a little hurricane hit by a hurricane. Yeah, well, a few sort months of. ago, right? Okay, okay. Yeah, it was a couple months ago and it, it kind of just missed us. We didn't really get much from the hurricane except winds, which we get winds out here all the time. Yeah. About a week later though, five and a half inches of water was dumped on us in like two and a half hours. The canal over there was yeah. completely full of water, um, washed out about an acre of their land and took it down and dumped it in an island. So how did you handle that with like your structure? I'm here? on high land, high ground, yeah. and it didn't really affect me much at all when oh, I good. came out. There was like about, you know, ankle steep water, but once the rain stopped, it just went into the ground. So this oh, sh gift shop, you're welcome to look up inside there. I would love okay. to. That's for sale too? Yes! I love that. Be happy, smile often, work hard, make mistakes, be kind, love hard, hug often, and be funny. Yep. That's really all there is to it. How much is this guy right here? 10 bucks. 10 bucks? Yep. You got yourself a sale. Excellent. <laughs> I think oh, I have a $10 bill. This is 
most famous cat in the slabs. Come the on. most famous cat in the slabs? Yes. Oh. She's been, she goes over to East Jesus, or yeah, over to East Jesus all the time and gets in all these people's pictures all the time. Oh, she's Climbs a star. Around. Oh yeah, she gets on the airplane, she'll get in the boat. She's all like, yeah. This looks like a sign. It is a sign. <laughs> this is, it's a decent sign. Thank well, you yeah, so sorry much. About the back of it. Oh no, you're I, fine. I actually prefer, actually, it, you know what? It, I might just take it, it off. It doesn't need it, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's like my mermaid bottom. Like, <laughs> I can't figure out what I want to do with it. There we go. There you go. Sometimes you just need to rip it off like a band-aid. There band -aid. we go. Yeah, you just gotta go for it. Well, I do have to say thank you for allowing us to come in over here. It's a beautiful community, yeah. and I mean, you're a part of it. And I also wanna say, like, your energy is, like, top-notch. Like, <laughs> I love interacting with people that are, like, just very well-spoken, but also very kind, respectful, and just, like, want to push good energy. Yeah. So, I appreciate that. And I have a tip for you. Oh! 100 wow. buckaroos. Thank you! Of course. Oh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Dot had a lot to show, so much to the point where it felt endless. Many hidden gems and random items scattered throughout. And right next door is where she referred us to. We have East Jesus. And the sun is setting really fast and it closes at sunset. So we got to get going. That is wild. I'm really curious to know when this was last flying in the air. The way they used all these tin cans to put this together. Got my boy Donkey Kong sitting over here at the top of his throne. One thing I always like to keep in mind is that everyone starts somewhere just like me. Way back before YouTube, I always wanted to get into it, but I always thought, damn, I don't have enough money. But what my mom taught me is to always make something out of what you have, even if it's not a lot. And this place gives me that same vibe. Whatever they get, they'll turn it into something dope. Like, bro, this is a tire that spins with a bunch of different spoons around it. It's all about using your resources to your best ability. But I believe this is the entrance. Yes, it is open. There's two car doors while we walk in. Hey, long time ago, I watched a movie called Mad Max. This guy looks like he's from there. Back in the day, this is what I would be playing Looney Tunes on when my mom let me and when the internet was actually fast enough, bro, it would never work. But when it actually went online, classic i don't want to disturb too much he's on the clock right now he has a modello he's doing some uh, work it looks like um but my boy's chilling no cab this is something i would want to implement in my future house a wall full of bottles some of them let a little bit more light through like this one but the green ones are my favorite look at the duck oh come on y'all know what to do i don't even, I don't even gotta say it all right y'all know what to do. Uh, 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 uh. every little detail is what I'm looking at right now. Even down to this, we have Monopoly houses mixed in with checkers. I think back in the 70s, this was a lot more popular. You would get a hatchback, open up the trunk, and here you go, it's where you sleep. If we were thinking straight, we would have came here and just got one of these tires and gave it to the guy from earlier. Different messages on them, you're too thin. Men feel nothing. That's cap, I have emotions too. <laughs> Anyway, remote control. I see what they did there. The television will not be revolutionized. What does that mean? Women need a man. You need more stuff. Standard of beauty in quotations. Inaccurate representation of reality. Damn, white people yelling at each other. The man who made this all happen, his name is Charlie. And I just love all the messages that he's sending. Like wasted time machine, bad example. And the most important, when I was your age, I was YouTube. Really calling everyone out. Might have to box Logan Paul after that one. These figures looks like it came straight from Travis Scott's Utopia. Wait, this is like a masterpiece. They really made an elephant out of tires. The two light bulbs up there being the eyes, this long nozzle being the nose, and then the tusks being these pipes. We just exited, that was a crazy trip inside, but I do wanna point out if I missed a single thing, please let me know in the comments down below. Anything out of the ordinary, anything crazy, please point me in the right direction. As we're driving by, we found that they even created their very own church. There's nothing you can't find. How are you guys doing? Heard you guys are the talk of the town. I love the hair. Nice to meet you. Grow myself. Wow, you're a YouTuber, right? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. What kind of content do you make? I started with just, uh, I, I wrote and sang a blues album, and I made music videos. And then I also, I played a cop on TV, and I did an X body spray commercial. Wow. And then I started to create a little mini series called Zombie vs. Vampire, a love story. Kind of comedic, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Like a little spin on like Romeo and Juliet type of thing, or no? Well, it was, you know, it was in my head it was going to be similar to Zombieland, I guess. Oh, in, okay, in, in, okay. The the day, but like in episode two, I have a gorilla fight a werewolf and, and Bigfoot breaks it up. You know? Wow. <laughs> Dude, I love what you got going on though. Well, I mean, it used to be a lot grander. We, we, we went and visited my parents in, in Arizona and just got back like a couple weeks ago. So you know, we're just starting back over. I'm Noah, by the way. I didn't oh, properly so introduce right myself. On, right on, right on. Why pink? <laughs> the whole theory behind the pink gorilla was, I wonder what a monstrous force of love would look like. 
and I wanted to be a monstrous force <laughs> of love in the world, you know, because I, you know, and I thought probably something like a pink gorilla. So it's I just, very welcoming for sure. Right on. Yeah. Well, pink is that kind of color. It's it's not like repellent or anything. Yeah. But, but yeah, I mean, I just I feel we all create domino effects of energy with everything we do. Of course. Everything we say, do, think, everything. We're we're throwing out energy. Yep. And it's how we react to it. Right. So if you're throwing out energy and even be able to sometimes absorb other people's negative energy, then at the, at the end of the day, at the end of your life, you were an asset to the world. It's what you bring to the the planet. Exactly. Well, yeah. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you guys even like welcoming. This is oh, so yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. If I had something pink on me, I wish I could have gave it to you guys. <laughs> now I was waiting for the perfect time because we were passing by him so often, and you know we saw some pink clouds in the sky. It just made sense. We stopped by the only place with food and beverages, which was a gas station. I ended up getting a hot dog and a Gatorade that made my stomach do a backflip. Now that we officially made it back to the Simplistic headquarters, I have to say, that was one of the craziest things I've ever done in my life. From all of the interactions, exploring, and almost dying from a heat stroke, I have to say, it was worth my time. Personally, these are some of my favorite videos to make where I get to go adventure and I get to go travel. So if you guys agree, go ahead and drop a like, subscribe down below to get me to 2 million subscribers and comment what law you would break. I love you guys so much. Keep it simple, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.